Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jonathan here with another Twin Motion video, and today we're going to be looking at another major feature of Twin Motion 2025, the preview version. Now, this is a really interesting feature I think you'll enjoy where you can basically configure different options for your drawings and your projects, showing things like different materials, different ambience, even different things like weather as well. So let's jump into this video, and I'm just going to be using this nice little project by Epic, uh, really kind of just to show you a really quick recap on how we were able to play with things like the weather and the new dynamic skies. And that was something you uh, ought to look at for my last video, if you haven't seen that already. But let's move inside the project, and let's talk about these new configurators for actually kind of like setting different options for your design. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just drop down to the media dock and you'll notice that when you open the media dock there's a new option here called configuration now i've already set a couple of up just to show you how this works then i'm actually going to show you how to do this but basically when i click on those different icons you can see it scrolls through the different floor finishes so let's look at how we actually set this up from scratch together so the very first thing you need to do is basically drag on a material onto the objects you want to kind of like record um, so I'm going to kind of do this sort of kitchen floor area. I'm just going to drag that on and basically like kind of scale that up a little bit. Um, you can see those tiles. So if I want to kind of like scale those up, let's try something a bit different actually. Let's try this one. Okay, that looks cool. So we'll scale it up manually by say 20%. So when I'm ready, I just click on to plus to create a new configuration. Now you notice down on the dock, that is a different state. So now I've actually got these two states. And I can create a nice little kind of thumbnail of that as well, which is cool. Um, good idea to kind of maybe zoom into the material so you get a good view of that thumbnail. Um, let's drag on something a little bit different and show you how easy this is again. So here I just basically scale up that. When I'm ready, I click onto all the other attributes of the material as well. And then when I'm ready, I actually just click to basically create that new state. So let's try it with the uh, basically create new state there. And let's drag on one final option onto the floor and um, let's scale that up as well and probably just introduce a little bit more different angle let's go 90 degrees and get a bit more shine on there as well so very very simple process as you can see and um, regardless of the view you create you can basically click the view there and then once you've done that as i say a really nice little aspect of this is create the thumbnail so i recommend things like the thumbnail it's a good idea to kind of get a bit closer to your material um, and create those thumbnails so you can actually kind of like see what you're doing. Okay, so now I can basically play through those configurations of the different states. And you see I've got four different material options for each uh, configuration. So this is actually extremely useful if you want to kind of uh, show your client maybe a few different material options of your project, rather than, you know, just sort of saying this is how it is, we could explore a few different options quite straightforwardly. And once again, let's go back to the floor now and you can see how I've achieved this. So we'll just do this sort of one final time. I'm just going to basically go through and have a look at maybe uh, that floor in a bit more detail from a slightly nicer viewpoint. I think you'll agree this is a really, really great way to explain your materials to a client and different material options. So once again, let's just go through and repeat that process on this project with this fireplace here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set the type of configuration. So that was going to be a material switch. OK, there's a few others that I'll mention a bit later as well. So basically, let's just drop down and go to maybe some stone. Um, so I'm going to drag on another option here and scale that up again. Uh, don't forget to use things like the world UV just to kind of change the mapping of the texture onto that surface. So when I'm ready, I can click on the plus state, create another state. So now I've already got those two states, as you can see. Let's drag on um, a couple more materials here. Now, something also that's really nice is you're not limited to just changing one single material. You can create um, a whole combination of different materials using this. So notice how if i kind of like drag a different surface onto the wall for example now we've got the kind of blue wall and that stone configuration there so basically when i click onto the plus state in a second let's just set the texture uh, correctly and scale it up a bit so let's create that texture state so now we've got the white walls we've got another option for the stone and basically let's change one of those and see if we can update it so we'll go for a slightly different kind of material, uh, not my favourite choice, but something I just want to show you. That sort of wood cladding on the walls there. 
Okay, so if you do want to click uh, update, you can either create a brand new state or you can actually click refresh and update. So let's delete that one. And we've got that new state there with those three different options plus, you know, those different sort of material options as well. But just be aware if that material is used absolutely everywhere, that will obviously change those walls wherever it's used. So I really like this new material configurator. I think they've done a great job at making this super simple. Um, and it just means that you can basically set these up to your heart's content. Let's look at one final example here of something outside. So I'm going to set a state for my project and I'm going to drag on some nice sort of wood cladding for this particular material option for the project. And when I'm ready, I'll just basically just frame up my view and basically click create state. So now let's go through and try a couple of different materials. Um, so this is a really great if you're an architect who wants to kind of like experiment with some different material options early on in the design process without getting too fixated on one specific option. And this is obviously something that I think a lot of designers and architects do like to do. You know, explore different material options for their clients. And this, you know, new feature in Twinmotion now makes this extremely easy. And um, the great thing about this is it doesn't actually change the model. It just basically overrides it with the configuration state. And you'll see how this works in combination with things like ambience, weather, and also presentation mode as well. So let's just go down and see if we can find another material here. And um, I think we'll go for a nice sort of concrete option as well. So let's sort of find a nice concrete and we'll drag that onto a rather brutalist sort of external environment there. Just zoom in and see how that looks. That looks actually pretty good. Um, we'll also, let's change those doors. Um, so we'll configure those doors to be a slightly different wood. Again, let's scale that up and rotate it round maybe. Um, and we'll kind of like see that this is actually a nice little combination of materials that we like to show our client. And basically all we need to do is click that plus sign. So wonderful, I've already got these four configurations. Of course, each of these can be named as well. You know, the default name is just called state, but if you actually want to give them a specific name, just uh, click on them and change the name. So we'll go for one more. Uh, this time though, I'm just gonna kind of scale that up and rather than kind of create a new state, um, I can actually, if I do want to click update. So let's do the review. Okay, we've got these four material options here. Very good. Do note, by the way, you can only have four material options at present. And I think honestly, that's enough. You don't want to kind of bombard the client with too many different options. So I would like to show you how this works in the kind of ambience as well. So let's go through to our four material options here. I can review those. They look really, really good. So I also just want to show you how I can look at those in full screen mode as well. Um, you can already see the configurators listed down at the bottom. Now, at the moment, this doesn't work on the Twinmotion Cloud, but obviously it's intended that this will be a feature that will be featuring on the Twinmotion Cloud for Twinmotion. So one of the really nice features of the paid version of Twinmotion is that Twinmotion Cloud. And I can see that being a differentiator in why people would actually not mind paying the fairly reasonable cost for Twinmotion to get the full version. Now, don't forget, I'm a reseller specialist for Twinmotion, as well as providing uh, teaching and training all over the world via Zoom. I can definitely help you get your software set up and show you how to make the most of it. So, as you can see in our full screen mode, this is really great. You know, we can give this client or, you know, explain our designs and sell those different material options. Um, you know, some of those I think I'll rule out. But, you know, really nice way to communicate very, very rapidly our thought process about what material options we might require. So let's have a look at one final little, little example where we actually look at things like the ambience now. Um, and this is a really great way to just kind of like communicate your project in different environments as well. So I'm going to go through to one of my material options that I like the look of. And um, basically, let's click a new configurator. This time it's uh, just changed the settings to an ambience configurator. And now, basically, if I go through and introduce some slightly different sort of weathers and cloud conditions, so let's change that cloud condition a bit. And we'll go through, maybe we'll change the season, um, kind of make it rain perhaps, or snow. That's a really nice little scene. So we'll just click Add Configurator for that. So now we've got the kind of nice and sunny one, and we've got the snowy one with a single click. So it's really, really good. It's a little bit different from the view. You know, the view actually changes the view that we set. Whereas basically with the configurators, they will be live things that we can change at any time in our project without having to actually go to a specific view. 
So I think you'll appreciate the difference here. And of course, when they, you know, these work in the presentation mode and maybe the twin motion cloud as well, you know, this will be an extremely powerful way to present our work to our clients. So really, really fun. Um, let's go through and try an HDRI for this particular one, just to see if this works. I'm sure it will. And basically, let's see if we can load in a nice HDRI into that environment. Takes a while, remember, with HDRIs because of the size of them to load them in. Um, do remember, if you go to library, there's a really big set of those that you can kind of like access and drag in as well. So we'll go through, uh, just rotate that HDRI a little bit. That's a nice sort of dark sort of ambient sort of sky. That looks pretty good. And when we're ready, we can just sort of adjust our view and basically click onto the new configurator uh, to add that option there as well. Now do remember the view itself is irrelevant. In a way, the view is just whatever your view is. The configuration is basically just a group of settings. And I also just wanted to show you one final aspect of how this can work for giving you not just different material options, but different designs for say furniture options as well. So let's just take a look at this. I've got a nice little example of this coffee house here by Paul Rimza. And basically, I'm just going to go through and change this to a visibility state now. So this is the configurator where you can actually set visibilities. OK, so we've got this first option here. Let's record that one. So now, basically, I'm just going to go up and hide these chairs. So to do that, I'll just kind of go through to the group of that component and just hide those one by one. And basically, then I can create a new state with a different item of furniture and brought in. And you'll see how easy this is. So we're going to turn on these other chairs that I've added and basically let's refresh that view. And then finally, I'll do one more. So here we go with our second option. There's our third one. And um, don't forget to just update the visibility. So I'm just going to go through and just do a little update on this one. So I've just got these two nice white chairs. I want to turn off those other chairs there uh, using the visibility mode in the scene graph. OK, so just quickly turn those off and just get the whole group, of course. And then when I'm ready, I can just click on that update button. So all the configurations have this ability to update. And I think you'll agree this is amazing just for showing not only different materials and ambiences, but different furniture options as well. So there's a huge host of possibilities that we can do in terms of our new twin motion configurations. And I think this is one of the nice major new features that I've come across in the software. So thanks for watching as ever. I really hope you liked the video and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye bye.